Hi guys, welcome to Making Sawdust. I'm Kevin. Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to my shop. And I was getting ready to detail sand and finish sand a couple butcher blocks that I have going out of the door. And it was a perfect time for me to share a couple products that I bought recently and share my experience with you. I use this DeWalt quarter sheet palm sander and it gets to be a pain in the butt switching the grits with little spring clamp deals and the cord drives me bananas. It's always getting in the way. But what I came across the other day was at the pawn shop was a heart Ren Mortal cordless. Uh, absolutely brand new never even had a piece of sandpaper stuck to it it's a hook and loop uh, there's no stain on it I picked that up and then I also picked up a 3 8 drill so uh, nowhere somebody must have got this in a kit I paid well a sticker for the charger the drill one battery and the sander was 67 bucks, $68. She gave me 15 bucks off, so that was awesome. I'm going to be using my drill today, but I've never used one of these guys, and I needed some sandpaper. So what I've done is I bought some Diablo from the Home Depot, and they're like a dollar a sheet for these 5-inch discs. I also went to Amazon and bought a 72 piece sanding disc. So I really wanted to try these out, compare them, the quality of the sandpaper and uh, you know the durability and stuff like that. Maybe you folks have some experience with this stuff too. But boy, I hate, hate paying a buck a sheet for this. So we are gonna try these guys out today. Uh, it is a multiple grit pack. Uh, 72 pieces, we get 40 grit. Uh, 12 pieces of 40 grit. 10 pieces each of 60, 80, 120, 180, 240, and 320. So it's 7 grades of sandpaper. Uh, I think it was like $28 for this. So we're going to try those out today. What I also picked up at the pawn shop the other day was a Craftsman 2 amp multi tool. It came with uh, a triangle sanding pad, and that was it. And it was a corded model. Sticker on it was 39 bucks. Seemed a little steep. Uh, I got 15 bucks off it, so I paid $25 for it. So that's my tip of the day. Go to pawn shops about once a week and look for tools. Uh, this is couple little scratches on it um, if it was mine I probably would have beat it up a lot more by now uh, not really very heavy use at all it does work so while I was shopping on Amazon I bought a 66 piece oscillating tool kit because I needed some different attachments it comes with a hook and loop triangle sanding pad some sanding discs, another hook and loop, smaller kind of a detail sanding pan. That's actually what we're going to use today uh, to dress up my burn marks in my routered grooves. But then also uh, some carbide tools there, and a really rough carbide sanding pad. couple of the round sawtooth blades. Uh, one. There's a two that are different that are actually like a razor blade on the edge. Probably for 
and linoleum or something like that. And then multiple widths and multiple teeth per inch uh, wood cutting blades. They are all new one brand, N E W O N E. I've seen these before on uh, Banggood, which is a website of Chinese tools. And they have a lot of other stuff too. So I was interested in checking these out. I think I bought this kit for, oh, 28 bucks, 30 bucks. But today, what we are going to use is a small detail pad. Looks like we got five, five of the 60 grits. Five of the 80 grits. Looks like five of the 120s. Five of the 180s. And those look like a 240. How I usually do this is I'll use some leftover 80 grit from my drum sander and fight it. <laughs> uh, the hardest part is getting right up in the corners. Uh, the main part of the groove, not that hard. So that's what I want to eliminate is my labor in these boards sanding the burn marks up. On the straight sides, not too bad. But when I'm up in the corners, it takes me a little while. So that seemed to work pretty good, the oscillating tool, to get the burns out of the groove and the little handholds. I'm going to go over it with some 120 and some 220. And we're actually going to try out the heart sander next. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Uh, final thoughts. I really like this Heart Random Orbital Sander. Uh, compared to my quarter sheet DeWalt, which vibrates like you wouldn't believe. Uh, actually, an old arthritic hand and an arthritic arms guy. I don't like holding on to that DeWalt for very long. I make my hands numb, my arms numb. This thing you can hang on to with just a super light grip and actually to get good sanding technique you actually really need to let the sander work for you 
if you press too hard on one of these RAs, uh, you'll end up heating up your hook and loops and the pad will heat up and it'll actually deteriorate quicker over time. So I've noticed that on my DeWalt. I mean, I, I really push on it sometimes to, you know, work that sander and the foam pad is actually deteriorating quite a bit. I've seen a lot of comments in videos and in, in Facebook groups that my sandpaper won't stick anymore on my RA. So really got to let the sandpaper do the work and the sander do the work. I don't like buying hook and loop sheets for a buck a piece like the Diablos. They did seem to hold up a little better. Uh, but, you know, if I'm going through two sheets on two cutting boards, it's a buck a piece. It's really not a huge issue. You can actually buy more sandpaper in your 72 pack. It kind of comes out in the wash if you go through a little bit more sandpaper, uh, but you can get more sandpaper for the same dollar bill. It's kind of up to you if you want to do that. Uh, I like using my Craftsman Multi-Tool. I've never owned one before. It does vibrate quite a bit, but it was actually quite effective to do the burn marks in my grooves. Uh, I've also tried a Dremel in the past, but the little sanding drums wear out so quick. So I wanted to find an alternative for that, guys. I'm going to be covering more tips on how I make my grooves, what fixture I use, and also a good way to minimize the burning in the juice grooves. Uh, I've got it down to where I have very minimal burning, but I still have to hand sand every once in a while. So. Uh, thanks for joining me here at Making Sawdust, channel about restorations, old tools, budget tools, cost-saving tips and tricks, and as always, I remind you, get out in the shop and start making some sawdust.